I'm pissed off. The college football playoff committee is an absolute joke. How can you tell me that Ohio State and Notre Dame deserve to be in the playoff over Texas A&M? And here come the excuses. Texas A&M, they got smashed by Alabama. Well, guess what? Every single team that played Alabama this year, except for Florida, got smashed by Alabama. So I don't want to hear that excuse. So that argument is irrelevant to me. Ohio State only winning six games. If we're going to let in one team that wins six games to have a chance for the national championship, we need to open up the invitation box to every single team that wins six games. So let's bring in San Jose State. Let's bring in Coastal Carolina. Yeah, Coastal Carolina! Woo! You know what? Let's just cut all the controversy out of college football. How about starting next season? Let's expand the college football playoff to every single team that wins six games. Let's just get rid of the bowl season and just let's just make one giant playoff out of it. And I don't want to hear, oh, well, that's just too many football games to play in a season. Well, I don't want to hear it because the NFL, they play 16 games in a season. And there's even teams that make the playoffs that play even more games. So they're playing about maybe 19, 20 games. So I don't want to hear it. And it would be it would work out just fine to have this playoff, this one big playoff to everybody that wins six games. Let's just since you need to have six wins to play in a bowl game anyway, so about maybe 70 teams probably win about six games on a regular basis. And it works out just fine, especially if you start the first round when conference championship weekend is normally supposed to be. So at that same pace, you would be talking about the national championship game probably being around Martin Luther King Day. So it works out just fine, especially with college athletes talk about how they want to be paid to be college athletes. You want to be paid like professionals, and you can play like professionals. You want to win championships, play 16 games, play 17 games to be a national champion. And how is Notre Dame in the college football playoff after getting blown out by a team that they beat in the regular season, but when the other team had really a bunch of star players not in that game, which included quarterback Trevor Lawrence. And to me, with Clemson being number three this entire time over Ohio State, it probably, th what I thought was that Clemson, they respected their loss more. And it, it was anticipated that maybe they thought that if Clemson was at their full strength, they'd probably beat Notre Dame in that matchup. Honestly, it just doesn't even matter. I'm more I'm more pissed off about Ohio State getting into the college football playoff with only six wins. The only reason why Ohio State's in this college football playoff, well, believe it or not, there's actually four reasons. One, because Nebraska football literally had to harass Kevin Warren and the Big Ten just to have a season. I mean, dozens of parents on the Nebraska football team had to file some lawsuit to harass the Big Ten and Kevin Warren just to start their season. Two, the Big Ten, they had to break their own rule and they had to abide by this own rule they, and criteria they made just to benefit Ohio State. And without it, I doubt Ohio State even is worthy of a spot in this college football playoff. Number three, it's really all about money and ratings. Even though the last two times that Clemson and Ohio State have played in the college football playoff. Clemson has absolutely embarrassed Ohio State. And number four, which I think is the most relevant, the chairman for the college football playoff committee is Big Ten affiliated. So obviously the Big Ten bias is going to come into play because I doubt if this was an SEC team that only won six games despite winning every game they've played, even though it's only six. I doubt that they'd get the same treatment that Ohio State's getting. I bet that if Texas A&M was in the position of Ohio State, they wouldn't be getting the same treatment. I really doubt that. 
So you're telling me that three and four, neither of them deserve to be Texas A&M. Only one loss, the number one team in the country against Alabama. And that was even before Ohio State even began their season. What an absolute joke. And for Notre Dame, besides that win against Clemson, where Clemson was missing several key players, what is your impressive part of your schedule? North Carolina, the same North Carolina that lost to Florida State. I honestly don't want to hear it. Ugh, Texas A&M, they struggled against Vanderbilt. Only a five-point win against Vanderbilt. Well, where's your energy for Notre Dame only beating Louisville 12-7? to Huh? Where is it? I'll wait. It's just whatever. This is all for ratings and money, so... I'm just not going to say any more about it. I'm done talking about it. I mean, A&M, they seem to hit their stride after the loss against Alabama, which many teams, when they lose to Alabama the way that they did, they just give up on their season. And A&M, they were resilient. Even before Ohio State began their season, A&M had a signature win against Florida. Even though many want to talk all this trash about how Florida is overrated, well, the same team that A&M beat only lost to Alabama by six. So every single team that has played Alabama has gotten smashed with the exception of Florida. So I don't want to hear that argument. Texas A&M got smashed by Alabama, so they don't deserve to be in the college football playoff. When every single team but Florida got smashed by Alabama. Obviously, Alabama is the more superior team in this playoff. The clear number one team in the country. So I honestly don't want to hear it. I'm done talking about it. I mean, I just, I really doubt that I'm even going to watch this college football playoff because we already know what's going to happen anyway. So like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.